full disclosure here, Peru is my team at this year's World Cup. I know many people from Peru, I even have family relations to Peru. So this one hurt. This one really hurt. I thought that Peru played well. They did almost, I mean, I liked watching them. Their attack was fluid, they were inventive. Just those last few passes. They couldn't get it or they got too nervous. Uh, they tried to get too quick, too fancy or whatever. And then, yeah, you miss a penalty that, uh, yeah. How Cuevas hits that one to the roof of the stadium uh, is a little bit beyond me, a little bit more cool. Isn't, isn't there any other player that can convert a uh, penalty? I don't know. I don't know the Peru side too well, but it seems like Farfan would have been a more logical choice. I think up until that point, everything was going for Peru, and then, yeah, they were shocked. And Denmark did what Denmark does best. And don't get me wrong, I do not dislike Denmark. It just happens so that in this group, they're probably my least favorite team, and uh, that's nothing to say against Denmark. I love Denmark. Uh, from a musical point of view, Denmark is the home of Merciful Fate, Volbeat, of course, Lars Ulrich from Metallica. So uh, there's a lot to like about Denmark. I like their fans. Uh, but yeah, I was not in their camp t uh, tonight. My daughter was. She liked the red uh, jerseys. And they ran one counter attack. Peru made one error. They let Ericsson go. And that was the goal. And then they had multiple chances uh, to make another goal, but they again tried to be too fancy. I mean, the one where Cuevas is dribbling through the Peruvian defense, does not shoot himself, puts it somewhere else, and then they just botch it everywhere. Uh, countless chances like this. This one really hurt, because I thought a point was well deserved for Peru, and if the penalty was converted and was a 1-1, I would have been a genius. Then I would have three results today correct. But, well... Uh, I'm gonna get over it. I think it's still a lot to play. I think Peru is definitely enriching this World Cup. Uh, it's amazing how many fans they had. I think so far they're the best fans at the World Cup. I mean, the stadium was full of Peruvians. Uh, and they bring a lot of passion there that is sorely needed. I think I ha uh, that's the most passion I've seen at the game so far. Um, yeah. Sorry, Peru. Congratulations, Denmark. You gotta be fair. I mean, it's not that uh, I say it was totally undeserved, but it was a lucky win for Denmark. I think a draw would have been a little bit more fair, to be honest. On the positive side, it was a lively game. It was not a boring game. There's what two teams that were kind of on the same level, and you could see that. Um, also, I liked the jersey matchup a lot so those were the two positives out of that game uh, it was the first time that I got really involved my wife and I love her and she's really great for letting me watch so much uh, asked me uh, midway through second half and I was yelling at another missed chance whether everything's all right with me and yeah I said I'm just too much into the game she came to me and hugged me calmed me down a little bit so that was nice to have well, let me think what you thought about this game. I'm fully with Peru glasses, so I might not be as objective as I wish here. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.